Vault. As she runs down the runway, the force exerted by her feet on the ground causes normal force to help her accelerate. The force, or physical power, given from her run to contributes to her maintaining motion to get over the vault. Her direction off the board has to be just right for her not to miss the vault completely. After she flips off the vault, the acceleration due to gravity causes her to be forced back to the ground faster than expected. Newton's first law of motion, an object stays in motion until another force is acted on it. The gymnast ran full speed at the vault until he ran right into the into it completely, demonstrating Newton's first law. And bars. The magnitude or amount of chalk on their grips determines how big the coefficient of friction is between the grips and the bar. And if she does what she's supposed to do, her net force from jumping from the low bar to the high bar should have made the low bar shake. But instead, she missed her feet. But for this girl, the scalar from bar to bar was too far for her to reach the low bar. Unfortunately, this girl's range wasn't far enough out of her feet hooked on the bar, causing her to fall on her head. Beam. For her to do a full turn correctly, the friction between her and the beam has to be stronger for her to complete the turn and not fall like she did. Her, but her equilibrium was off balance, causing her weight to pull her down. Her trajectory made the full more painful, but the force exerted on her projectile was not strong enough for her to land correctly. When do I start? Now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Four. As she accelerates and jumps to make a parabolic move, she falls out of her correct position. She does not stay in the white lines, causing her displacement to have a farther distance than it should have been. <laughs>